Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about 12 style secrets to more flattering outfits. These are going to be secrets, like they are a step above just wearing black or wearing dark colors. But I do want to start out with a quick disclaimer reminding you that style is in the eye of the wearer. These tips aren't about looking thinner, it's about using your body and your proportions to create a very balanced outfit, which will in turn make you feel more happy and confident in your clothes. And so these are styling secrets that I use on my own body that I think could apply to anyone and everyone, no matter what your body type is. If you're one of my returning friends, welcome back. If you are new, please consider subscribing. Everyone, no matter who you are, please like this video if you do and let's get started. So the first thing that I think every single person should do is find their perfect rise. Because some people might think high rise jeans help hold you in and give you that nice hourglass look. But if you have a short torso or if you're petite, then high rise doesn't always work for your balancing out in all of your proportions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your tape measure and measure from under your crotch to just below your belly button. Any higher and you might start in cringing up too high and maybe this is a spot, maybe you have a longer torso, maybe you have more room to give up here then you can do that and that feels great. But in general, I think right below the belly button is a sweet spot for so many people with the idea that your rise ends right below the smallest part of you. So there's still more smaller part of you right above, but not too much more. This will help support your lower stomach, but also knowing this measurement will help you shop because I cannot tell you how many times I've seen my measurement labeled low, mid and high rise, all three, not even joking. So for this one, it's better to know your measurement rather than to say, high rise or mid rise or low rise. My next secret is a little bit controversial because it involves V-necks. Now I feel like the V-neck t-shirt is just like the holy grail of like flattering, slimming, t-shirt that just works on everyone. And I really do think it does, but I do think it also has its place because what a V-neck will do is it actually elongates your neck. So if you're like me and you already have a really long neck and you have a short torso right here, it could really throw off your proportions vertically unless you are making them up below. So for example, I'm not tucking in this shirt, so I have a little bit more space down here. Not that this is a V-neck anyway, but kind of the same things apply. Now, if your neck's a bit shorter and you have a longer torso and you have more real estate to balance everything out, then a V-neck could be a really great option. You see, it just kind of depends on the little details of your different proportions in your body that can help determine whether that is actually working for you. Because maybe you're trying V-necks and you're wondering why you're still not feeling as 100% happy with your outfit as you feel like you should. This might be why. This next one I really can't stress enough because it is so hard to find. It is not like, I don't know why it's not second nature. Maybe it's just my body type, but it's about the back pockets of your pants and more specifically jeans. You see, I think the smaller and higher your pockets are, the more flattering it is. However, I feel like all pants pockets, all back pockets back here, are large and low. Now maybe size is more of a personal thing depending on your body type, but if you're finding your pockets are often too low, it might mean that your hips are a little higher set, meaning you have longer legs and a shorter torso. It's a very common problem with us short torso people. And again, they're really hard to find. Even if they look high and small on the model, they might not look high and small on you just because, at least for me, I do not have a model body type. But higher and smaller back pockets mean your booty's gonna look larger and it's gonna look a little bit perkier. You know, you're not gonna have diaper butt or a saggy butt in the back. Okay, my next tip is around ruching and draping fabrics. This is mostly in the area of tops and dresses. You can sometimes find it in skirts. I'm trying to think if you find it in pants. But anyway, when it comes to ruching and draping, you really want them to kind of look like they fit. Now, ruching and draping do a great job of camouflaging so much. Like, off the rack, they are 99% going to look amazing on you, and they're going to cover anything that maybe you don't love showing off, but it gives you the chance to show it off. I personally find my confidence goes up in anything ruched or draping that I wear. But I also think it's really common for people to be turned off by some of these features because they can almost be too much. So my tip when it comes to looking at ruching or draping fabrics or anything that's meant to kind of camouflage is don't be afraid to tailor it. And when you do, go from the top, not from the bottom. The bottom is just going to pull it all down and it's still not gonna fit in sort of the way it was designed or intended to fit. But if you take it up from the shoulders, that is 
90% of the time where the issues lie is it's just maybe too long on you or maybe too big on you, too drapey. And it's usually a very quick, inexpensive tailor to just kind of take things up a little bit and it's good to go and everything fits right. Now I know I said I wasn't going to mention black or dark colors and I'm still not. This tip really brings you back to the basics because those basics are tried and true. So when picking fabrics or picking outfits, choose fabrics that are clean, solid, or have some texture. Kind of stay away from prints. Prints can work really well and in certain situations, but I find that if you want a wardrobe full of really flattering pieces, the majority are going to be basics or just textures. In my opinion, finding the perfect pattern for your body type, your body shape, how you're gonna wear it for the piece, all of that, I think that is much harder to find. And so you're gonna have so much more luck with just going with a white t-shirt or a blue t-shirt or a gray sweater. All those textures and colors, they're very simple, but they're very classic and they're going to be great pieces, which will become great building blocks for great outfits that you're gonna feel really confident and happy in. I feel like a common piece of styling advice that we get when it comes to creating an outfit, looking even better in outfit, leveling up an outfit, making it look super flattering on you, it's always add a belt. We should all have just these huge wardrobes of belts. And I encourage you to take that with a grain of salt. In fact, I would encourage you to find softer belts over hard belts, so like leather belts. Unless you really have a long torso where a hard belt can literally fit your entire waist and touch the entire part of it perfectly flat. Not flat as in skinny, flat as in it just has all that room for the entire like surface area to to be absorbed. Because for me, if I wear a belt, my hips and my ribs are almost already touching anyway. So when I put a belt over, a hard belt over it, it completely erases my waistline and it digs into those two parts of me and therefore it's not flat against my stomach. But when you have kind of a wrap belt, whether this is a scarf or just a tie waist, those are so much more moldable to your waistline, to where you want it to hit on your body. You can loosen it up easier if you've been chowing down. It's just more comfortable in general but it's also has a lot more customizable space so you still get that really nice structure that a belt can give but it gives you a lot more flexibility within that so when you're looking to kind of create maybe a little bit more shape in an outfit look for softer belts tie belts scarves that you can tie around your waist okay all right this next secret i feel like isn't a secret at all i'm sorry but i just have to put it in here we're gonna get into some more juicy secrets here in a second because i always leave the good stuff for the end but just get a bra that fits and that lifts. I cannot tell you how good it feels to have the girls just locked up in there off your waist because if you have a short torso like me, they can quickly fall down and kind of cover more and more of your waist. So the higher up they can get, the more space you actually have to work with, which can help you create outfits that make you feel more balanced and more proportional. And that's all I'm gonna say because that's not really even a secret, but I know there's still just so many people out there who haven't done it. So this is your sign if you haven't to please go do it. This next one is about whether to cover or not to cover your ankles. I know, so scandalous. But what your ankles are, they are the transition between your legs and your feet. Now, if you have really long legs, you might wanna have your ankles be part of your feet to help your legs feel a little bit more in proportion with everything else, which will look very flattering. On the other hand, if you have shorter legs and a really long torso, wonderful, but you will actually look more balanced and in proportion if your ankles are covered. This way your leg looks nice and long. This goes into a tip I see a lot where it's to have like boots, black boots with black pants. That actually doesn't work on everyone if you already have long legs. It could make you feel really short and squat up here because your legs are really, really long. But if your legs are shorter, then that works really well. Which leads me into this next secret, which is please learn your vertical body shape. I see so many videos and resources on how to dress your body shape, and it's all about your upper half. So how your shoulders are in balance with your hips, which is your horizontal body shape. But last I checked, I have a neck, a head, legs, ankles, feet, hands. You are more than just your apple or your pear body shape. You are also your vertical body shape. And what those are, there's only two. Actually, no, there's three, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of a spectrum. But on one side, you have short torso, long leg body types. And the other side, you have long torso, short leg body types. And in the middle, you have proportional, which 
pretty much means everything is pretty much in balance. I am a short torso, long leg body type. So I do a lot of videos just on dressing those proportions because they're tricky. But then there's also long torsos which have their own set of challenges. Just by learning what your apple or pear shape is, that doesn't include how you should dress for your legs or how you should dress for your neck. It doesn't mean your horizontal body shape doesn't count. It just means that you actually have a horizontal and a vertical. And I have a lot more videos on that in the description box below. This next secret is oddly specific. So this secret is to size up in ribbed pieces. I cannot tell you why or how, but ribbed material is so clingy and it will just highlight in bold, in yellow, every inch of your body that is in ribbed fabric. And so sizing up just graces flows, smooths over all of those sections, and it's just amazing. I love buying ribbed pieces now ever since I decided to always size up in them, but usually ribbed pieces are very true to size, but ribbed material in general is much more clingy and just shows off everything. So size up in your ribbed pieces, you will thank me and love them for it. My next secret I feel like I could do a whole video on, and I talk about this sort of thing a lot, but as much as we're talking about clothes and building an outfit, it's almost like you have to think of the clothes but you also have to think of the negative space which is your skin the, what the clothes aren't covering so your skin is just as important as your clothes and yes that includes making sure that your skin is moisturized and that you use sunscreen and you're taking care of your skin that's all great but that's not the whole thing I'm talking about here what I mean is just in the same way as my sleeve is like a three-quarter sleeve, my skin is making up the rest. So by this being a darker color and this being a lighter color, there's contrast going on as if I'm wearing a whole sleeve of color right here. The same goes for my neck in my V-neck tip from earlier. If you have a lot of skin up here, that is one big color that is showing. And then you need to balance that out with another large piece of color. If you have one big piece of color and then a bunch of little pieces of color, that may start to make you look imbalanced, out of proportion, and you may not just feel as flattered by that outfit. Kind of pay attention to that because maybe something isn't working because of the skin that is showing. This secret is one that definitely gets overlooked and you can be as extravagant as you want with it or as simple as you want with it. But just in the same way that shoes complete an outfit and shoes are one of the first things people see when they notice an outfit, you also gotta dress your hands. Now that can be simple, you can tell. I'm a pretty simple hand dresser, but you do also have to dress your hands because people are going to notice your hands when they're talking to you. If they're on a table, if you're talking with your hands, like I know I like to, if you're showing them something, if you're pointing at something, they're going to be looking at your nails, they're going to be looking at your wrists, if there's any rings on your fingers, they're going to be seeing all of that. So bringing that into your outfit will actually make you feel more confident and more happy and it could flatter the rest of your outfit. If your entire outfit is very extravagant and your hands are bare, depending on the outfit, that could feel really imbalanced. And then you start to maybe feel a little bit like, oh, well maybe this outfit isn't working when really it's just that you forgot to dress your hands. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave some of my body type videos right here for you to watch. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.